Welcome to the Family International. The Family International is a Christian and missionary fellowship dedicated to sharing God's Word and love with others. Family mission centers are active in over 90 countries, working for the betterment of our fellow man, one heart at a time. Our mission is to comfort, aid, and minister to those in need of every race, culture, and creed through a diversity of ministries and programs around the world. I hold motivational seminars for companies and a wide range of audiences. One of the projects we do here in Tonkin is the anti-narcotics program. In Taiwan, I work with the government and charitable institutions to organize events and aid for underprivileged children. At our studio, we produce music for our worldwide outreach. I produce a radio show in Uganda. In the Deaf Ministry in India, we help educate the deaf and prepare them to enter the workforce. Our ministry involves offering free limb replacement. I produce educational material for children. As an international fellowship of missions, the family's volunteer workers are drawn from nearly 100 nationalities, working in a wide variety of countries and cultures. Our mission centers serve as multifaceted centers for our outreach and social work, meetings, education for resident children, training and communal residences for full-time missionary volunteers. Resources are pooled and channeled to provide a support base for the family's volunteer services and outreach. Volunteer projects range from distributing food and emergency supplies to capacity building for the disabled, medical camps, education development, seminars, benefit performances, counseling, and more. Because family mission centers are located all over the world, members are often in a unique position to provide rapid response to local disasters and emergency situations. Immediately following the Asian tsunami, in the closing days of 2004, family volunteers were some of the earliest volunteers on the scene throughout the affected region, providing both emergency assistance as well as helping to rebuild the lives and communities affected by this disaster. The family, India and the Clarisians have been able to distribute 25 boats here in this village. We have donated these boats to 50 families here, two families to a boat. Similar initiatives have been achieved throughout Southeast Asia. Donations of boats, motors, nets, tools for rebuilding, projects to restore water supply, Building, renovation and house construction are seeds of lasting solutions towards reconstructing the local economy. In addition to distributing material aid, our volunteers focus on the spiritual needs of those affected by such disasters, offering counseling, spiritual encouragement and comfort. This is often the assistance people need most in order to cope with the loss of loved ones and to rebuild their lives. We need food, clothes, water, but for somebody to come and help and they don't have to have anything. Just to come sit down and talk, talk to you and talk to you about something that's positive. That's the value. These people have been through a lot. So the ability to talk to others to talk about their issues, about their problems, and try to get resolution to those is extremely valuable. Family mission workers conduct regular visitation programs at hospitals, prisons, orphanages, children's homes, and institutions worldwide to offer comfort, counseling, and cheer and encouragement to the sick and terminally ill as they struggle to come to terms with their plight. Family members' children often accompany their parents to minister to others and provide benefit performances. The Family International's medical camps have enabled multitudes to receive free medical attention and have restored countless lives. So I think these projects have blessed the people and they're really grateful. I know the first one or two days, you know, people don't come up because they don't believe that somebody can show that much love. But after somebody goes and tells them, look, I had my own surgery done and nobody 
took anything from me. I had drugs given to me, given to my children. I had an eye surgery done and nothing was charged. And I thank God that we have an opportunity to show people that you know God cares for them. The medical camps also provide an opportunity to introduce people to God's love and the power of prayer, which can work miracles. Through the family's medical camps, countless souls as well as bodies have been healed. Before I was uh, totally blind, but now I can see with these eyes that was operated yesterday. I'm very grateful to God and to the doctors that helped me. Capacity building for the disabled has proven to be an effective means of improving their lives on the long term. Imparting the necessary skills and providing the materials to enable them to be productive not only assists the disabled in becoming self-sufficient, but also allows them to experience a greater measure of personal worth. A gift of radios for these blind children in Maduguri, Nigeria is like a wonderful Christmas present. So we have a radio for each of the blind students. Thank you very much. I watched and saw a moment of excitement on the faces of the boys and girls. Many people have come for other projects discussed, but it is like a long term thing. Nothing came out of it. This time, within the shortest possible period, the family came back and uh, did some physical things that people saw. A lot of hope has been energized into the lives of these young ones because they know there are people that care for them. The World Health Organization estimates that 800 million people go hungry each day and more than 6 million children die each year from malnutrition. Family volunteer workers regularly provide aid of food, clothing and medical supplies in a number of countries around the world. In the Sierra Madre Mountains of northwestern Mexico live up to 70,000 Tarahumara Indians. Years of drought have left them with few resources. Family International volunteers regularly make the arduous journey to help relieve their suffering and to bring them a touch of God's love. It is very rare that we receive this kind of help because of the distance. Most people aren't aware of the conditions of these settlements. They think there is no access to these areas. I thank you for coming. We are very, very happy that you have come and helped. On special occasions such as Children's Day and Christmas, family volunteers often organize activities, special meals and presents for needy children, giving them the opportunity to experience the joys of the season. Education development is a focus of family mission centers in a number of countries. We believe that children are a priceless gift from God and are committed to bettering their quality of life. Family volunteers have expanded and built schools to provide free or affordable education for disadvantaged children. They fulfill all their promises. We have come to the stage of trusting them because of what they have been doing all along. And the villagers, they trust them so much. So it's, it's a family we can't afford to lose. Most of the kids you're seeing here in the school have never had education before this last year. If you ask any of the teachers uh, and the children what this school means to them, they will say from their heart that it's, it's one of the most wonderful things that have ever happened to them in their life. The STEPS Character Building Curriculum, a family international initiative, is well received in schools and daycare centers around the world. It's done in a very nice way. It's understandable and it's very practical. I highly recommend that all schools use the STEPS program. It is brilliant. The Family International also places a high priority on the standard of care and education of our members' children. Members strive to provide positive home study environments that afford quality education and encourage each child to discover their unique gifts and talents. Members also provide benefit musical and theatrical performances for a variety of audiences. 
From its inception in 1968, the Family International has circled the globe to bring a message of hope and faith in song and literature to millions. Spiritual words of life are as essential as physical food for our total health, and we consider the care of the soul our most important mission. To achieve this objective, the Family International has produced an array of inspirational and award-winning educational publications, as well as audio and multimedia productions, which are distributed to millions in all major languages worldwide each year. Our volunteer efforts extend far beyond providing physical assistance to those in need to providing spiritual assistance and support to people from all walks of life. Today's world is a complex, increasingly materialistic one in which the important values of love and faith in God are often neglected. Family volunteers meet this vital need by providing personal counsel and assistance to young and old alike. Our volunteers also organize and teach Bible classes and host retreats and seminars with the goal of building a foundation of faith and improving the quality of life of our fellow man. I used to think that preaching the gospel, all, all the world it was for white people. But then coming across and working together with the family, I came to discover it is, was even my job. So I'm very proud to work with the family. Family has been an inspiration for us, and for me especially. And we've seen through the kids, and the way they live, the love, and that it's an example for us. De tal manera que nos ha inspirado a hacer lo mismo con nuestros hijos. The heart of mankind is the same the world over. Our desires for peace and happiness are God created. Love is God's solution to the problems the world faces, even in the complex and challenging world we live in today. Love put into action is the greatest service to mankind. The Family International is a non-profit organization. Our work would not be possible without the aid of concerned individuals and organizations. Thank you for helping us to make a difference in the lives of many.